Hey everybody, it's Kiara. Um, I am coming because I have a really big announcement to make and I'm going to be doing the videos for them and so I wanted to let you know um, what's going on and I can't wait to give you all the updates because I got a lot of updates. So. Yep, I am 10 weeks pregnant. We are expecting our fourth child, our fourth little mother here. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've been keeping a secret. It's not really a secret because I haven't done videos in a while, um, which is not 100% true. I've been doing videos, I just haven't been uploading them because of technical issues. I am probably the most technical challenge person and my husband is a software developer, so you would think that I would be able to get it, um, but I don't. And I'll ask him to help me, and he'll do it for the most part. But I think he gets really frustrated with me always saying, I need you to help me upload this video. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. So, um, I just haven't done anything. So, anyway, yeah. So, I'm 10 weeks pregnant. I've known I've been pregnant since I was four weeks. So, um, I found that the way I figured it out was I keep um, track of my cycle on a calendar that's in the hallway from our kitchen to our bedroom and I had put up there um, that I had my period November the 2nd and you know I put when my period starts and when it ends well it was like December and family was here for Christmas um, no 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 it was still November it was Thanksgiving and my mother-in-law had came down and you know we were really busy with all that stuff and my husband just happened to walk by the calendar and he looked and he just said, uh, oh, it's almost time for your period. I said, yeah, you know, still have a few more days. <laughs> Didn't think nothing about it. Well, after my mother-in-law stayed for a few, um, few days after Thanksgiving, and I have a 28-day cycle. So every 28 days, my period comes, which I've never had um, regular periods until after I weaned um, from breastfeeding my third son. And then my period started being very regular. So every 28 days, they would come. And we, you know, I was able to keep track of it. So it had been 31 days. And I happened to just look at the calendar and I counted. And I said, it's been 31 days. I haven't got my period. And I just had this little bit of a feeling that I might be pregnant, but, you know, it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, my God, I'm pregnant, you know, so I didn't think about it. The next day, I decided I would take a pregnancy test, you know, using my first morning's pee, and my husband left at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning to take his mom to the airport, and I got up. As soon as they left, I got up, and I went to the bathroom, and I peed on the stick, and lo and behold... It was positive and I would show it to you um, a little positive sign but it's starting to fade and it just doesn't really look great at this point it's, it's been a few weeks it's been six weeks so I'm not even gonna show you that um so yeah Ugh, this hair of mine oh so anyway yeah so I was like oh my god I'm pregnant you know so I told my husband later that day when he got home and we were just like, you know, because we had sat down and talked about getting a vasectomy. You know, we said this year we were going to get a vasectomy because we felt like three was enough. We were perfectly happy with our three boys. And at any point that we decided we really wanted to have another child, we would go ahead and do adoption and adopt an older child, not, you know, a baby. We didn't want to adopt a baby. We wanted to adopt a child that could go to the bathroom on his, on his or her own. So... You know, that's what we decided that we were going to do. And, but when we found out we was pregnant, I wasn't, I was very, 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 very excited to have the opportunity to be a mother again. However, I was not excited because of the things that I will have to experience in my pregnancy. You know, my pregnancies are very high risk. I have an incompetent cervix for, um, if, if you're just now following me and, and you don't know my journey, I have an incompetent cervix. So I had my first son when I was 24 weeks and a few days. He was one pound and 12 ounces and he was in the hospital for six months. 
I had my second son at 37 weeks because I had a cerclage implanted into my cervix, which is a stitch, the stitches up your cervix to keep you pregnant. However, I did start to funnel. I started to dilate very, um, very early, and I also started to lose um, length in my cervix throughout that pregnancy. I was put on bed rest with that pregnancy. I gained a whole bunch of unnecessary weight, and... I also, in labor, had showed a dystocia with him, so his heart rate dropped extremely fast, and it was a very, very scary experience, and I was supposed to get a C-section, but it was too late, so they suctioned and vacuumed him out and all that other crazy stuff, um, but he's fine. Ken, hold on. Kenny, where you going? Okay. Then, with my third son, I had, oh, and I tore extremely bad with Jaren. I mean, tore, like, really bad, like... Um, okay, I had a third degree tear and a partial. So it tore all the way up to my anal hole. Horrible, horrible. It was the worst experience ever. Not only did I tear, I turned around and when I went for my six weeks checkup to see how, um, to make sure everything had healed up right, it didn't heal right. It didn't heal right. She had to cut me back open and redo it. Who does that? Who wants to experience that? It was the worst feeling ever. So, I had my third son, got pregnant with my third son, had another cerclage. So, I've had two cerclages so far. Um, <clears throat> got that one placed in at 15 weeks. With my, my second pregnancy, I got the cerclage placed in at 12 or 13 weeks. I can't remember. So... With my third pregnancy, got my cerclage. Oh, and let's not forget, I get the 17 P shots or P17 or progesterone shots, which prevent preterm labor. Um, for some of you moms who are trying to figure that out, I have had two rounds of those. I had it for my second and my third pregnancy of 17P, which start at 16 weeks. And mine, I got them from 16 weeks to 36 weeks with both preg um, the last two pregnancies. It's okay in the beginning, but towards the end, those jokers start to really hurt. Like, they hurt. It's the medicine that hurts, not the shot itself. The medicine going in hurts, and it stings afterwards. And they would be like, well, you know, here, take a um, ice pack. Ice packs will make it worse for me. I mean, it was just horrible. Um, but I did all of that because I had to. Because I wanted to have a successful pregnancy. Because I wanted to have a big belly. I didn't get to experience that with my first pregnancy. I wanted to have a child full term. So I did what I had to do. However, with my third pregnancy, I gained way too much weight. I um, got gestational diabetes. My And... Supposedly preeclampsia at the end. Come right here. This is my preemie son. This was my one pound and twelve ounce son. He's how old are you? Five. Five. And he's lost. Fix your glasses. He's been losing some teeth. You want to show everybody your teeth that you lost? <laughs> he's lost some teeth. Okay, and now here's my third son. He wants to make his appearance. Ugh. Ugh. To hey. To hey. Okay. So, you know, that's, that was my experience with my, my last three pregnancies. And um, I did not tear with him with my third pregnancy. Thank the Lord. Um, but I had a horrible labor. It just didn't go how I expected. And I can put a link to that video somewhere else. So, anyway. Um, so this time around, I have made it a point to be really healthy. Put the gun down, please. I've made it a point to be very healthy. I was already on a health journey before this. I was in the process of losing weight and have been successful um, in losing pounds and inches. And I'm still losing weight. I went to my doctor's appointment and I've lost three pounds. And that's not because of morning sickness. I'm not throwing up and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's talk about symptoms that I'm having. So, first symptoms were nausea, but not necessarily vomiting. I just felt sick all day. That still exists right now, but it's not nowhere near as prominent as it was before. Um, I did uh, vomit twice, I think. Uh, just really felt bad. And so, yes, he's still sleeping. So, um... 
but that was about it. And, and you know, and I just eat. And I'm not. I don't have any specific cravings or anything like that. I'm following a low carb diet, um, which I'll tell you about later. Maybe in another. I might do a whole another video about that. So my other symptom is I started getting headaches this week. Oh, they were just horrible. And I haven't had a headache in so long, even though I suffered from migraines before. But I haven't had any in, in, in well over a year. So um, I started getting headaches. My doctor said to drink coffee. So I drank eight ounces of coffee when I have a headache. Headache went away instantly. So moms, I don't, and I'm not a coffee drinker, but my husband, we have the Keurig and... Um, the cappuccino thingy, so I, I was like, okay, I can do that. So I drink eight ounces of that, and it works. So if you have headaches in your pregnancy, drink some coffee. It's completely okay. Um, let's see. My prenatal vitamin, which is a whole food prenatal vitamin. I did a lot of, my husband did a lot of research to find me the, the best prenatal vitamin. And I can't think of the name, so I'll tell you later. But it is really great. However, I'm constipated from a prenatal vitamin. I was anemic before I found out I was pregnant, so I really have to watch my iron and stuff like that. And make sure I'm getting a lot of my nutrition. Nutrition, But my prenatal vitamin makes me constipated. So I'm having a hard time going to the bathroom. And honestly, I haven't used the bathroom in about three to four days. So I'm going to get some Miralax. And I eat my green leafy vegetables. I've been following a very, very healthy, strict diet. And, um... Still can't go to the bathroom, so I'm going to get some Miralax, and I'll tell you how that goes when I get it. My other symptom is I've been breaking out. Literally, when I found out, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, like three pimples popped up on my face. And every day, they'll go away, and then a new set will come. So I got this one right here. This is like a whip. I don't know what is going on. Um, and I have more down here. And right here so yeah been getting pimples not feeling the face breakout thing but it is what it is um other than that i don't have any symptoms not that i can think of fatigue i've been very fatigued i've been extremely tired um but i have to keep going because you know i'm a stay-at-home mom and i just don't believe in letting my kids just watch tv all day if i was just miserable then i would make an exception but i've still been still been going Still been doing what I have to do. I just have to suck it up. And it's been kind of cold here in Texas the last few days. So we haven't really been outside the way that I would like to. But we're having 60 degree weather for this week. So we'll be outside. Trust me. Other than that, everything has been great. Like I said, I, I have so much information. But I wanted to just let you guys know that I'm 10 weeks pregnant. Uh, this is my fourth child. We have three boys. I have a high-risk pregnancy. I have an incompetent cervix. And I will be getting a cerclage with this pregnancy. This will be my third cerclage. And um, if you'd like to know more about my experience with cerclage, I have a wealth of videos about that. Um, and I put links in those or whatever so you can check out those other videos. And... I'm also overweight starting out in this pregnancy. So I, my doctor told me it was 100% okay for me to lose weight while pregnant if baby continues to grow. So I lost three pounds in two weeks. I'm not on trying to lose 50 pounds here, people. I just want to make sure that I'm trying to be preventive in developing gestational diabetes. And I'm just trying to, I want to be, have a really great natural childbirth. And I need to be in the best health of my life to be able to do that. And um, I just want to have a really great pregnancy. I don't want all those complications I've had before. So, I haven't gained any weight so far. You know, I've lost my weight. But I, I am overweight. So, I don't see a lot of people who have stomachs that look like mine pregnant but I know it's a lot of you out there so I'm starting out um at 220 pounds which is what I was when I delivered my last two kids and I'm 5'2 if that helps so here we are let's see how can I do this so that you can see me really really good I'm gonna sit this back here there we go can you see that well Alright, so, 
is what I'm looking at. I got on a black shirt, which is not the best for being able to see. I'm not really showing. That was there before, baby. But. And this is what my stomach looks like. See? Nice and jiggly. So, yeah, this is the belly project. The sun is not helping. Here. Maybe this is better. There we go. All right, people. Enough of that. All right, so thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram. I am Mama's Milton Pot. And rate and subscribe and tell all your friends about me. Bye. Oh, Kayla wants to say bye. Say bye. Oh, you blow kisses. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>